Hello, I'm Gavin Watson from AutoPost and in this video tutorial I'm going to talk you through how to get set up your Twitter AutoPost service. So uh, first thing we need to do is we need to head over to the control panel. To get into the control panel, uh, as per your email that you will have received uh, when you signed up for the service, uh, it is cp.autopo.st. This is our user control panel, and from here you will be configuring your service. So to log in, uh, please use the credentials that were supplied in the welcome email. You will have got a username and a password. So I've got a uh, test account here, and I'm just going to log in with that. And when you log in, you'll see the dashboard, the control panel dashboard. And I'll talk you through that. Uh, in just a moment. So uh, here is uh, the AutoPost uh, control panel and from here we'll be configuring all the different services although in this video specifically uh, we will be looking at uh, your Twitter AutoPost. There is a separate video for Facebook and TuneIn and all the other services that we have. So here's the main menu or, or the dashboard as we call it. Uh, you have your welcome message. Here uh, you have some quick links that will take you straight through to configure each service. And you also have a, uh, a quick view of the latest uh, posts that have been made to uh, Twitter, Facebook or TuneIn. And on this one, we are concentrating on Twitter. So when you first log in, you'll see this uh, not configured. That means uh, correctly that you have not yet configured the service. On the left hand side, uh, you'll see some of the options, menu options that we'll be using uh, and we'll get started with that straight away. So the first thing that we need to do um, to do that is you need to configure your streaming server. And this is where we're going to be getting the now playing information. So what song your radio station is currently playing. And to do that, we query your streaming server. So these details will have been provided to you by your streaming uh, hosting provider um, and uh, you'll need to refer back to there to get those details. So in this demo, uh, we're going to be using a Shoutcast streaming server version one. Uh, here you can pick between all the different types of platforms that we currently support. Uh, for this demo, we're going to be using Shoutcast version 1. Uh, you should pick the uh, type of server uh, that you use for your uh, radio streaming. In the host name, we're going to enter the host name of uh, our streaming server, which is as follows. Of course, you enter your own or enter the IP address directly of the streaming server. Do not enter uh, HTTP um, in, in this field. So uh, you have some small question marks here and they will help you. If you hover over them, they'll help you fill out the information there. So uh, the server port number uh, in our example here, we're going to be using uh, 18,004. Now, if you use Shoutcast version 2 or Icecast, you'll need to enter the mount point or the stream ID. If you use Radionomy, then enter that information there, radio jar, etc. Most of the other ones uh, will use uh, just the uh, host name or IP address and the port number. So for Shoutcast version one, that's all we need. We can go ahead and click submit. Uh, your configuration has been saved. Uh, we can close that down and then you can use the test server response. Now what we do here is we'll go and see if the information entered is correct and returns a valid song. Note uh, it says submit first. So you have to click submit whenever you make a change uh, so that this test button here will go ahead and query your streaming server. So we've already submitted that. If we click test server response, you'll see that it returns the name of the song that's currently playing on this streaming server here. So that's correct. The streaming server information works. We can go ahead now and uh, configure the Twitter service. So if we click on Twitter, the next thing that we need to uh, create or enter, sorry, is the Twitter app information. Now, um, the Twitter app information is required because that is how um, we are allowed, or you give us permission to post to your Twitter account or feed. 
So to do that, as per the instructions that were included in the uh, email that we sent you, we need to go ahead and create a Twitter app. So to do that, we need to head over to apps.twitter.com, which we have loaded up here, um, and sign in to your account. This is uh, your uh, the account, the details, login details for your current uh, Twitter account. So we have a test account, and I'm going to go ahead and enter the login details for the Twitter account. And that takes us to the apps.twitter.com page, which is where we're going to configure the app. So uh, you can see that we have some apps currently created here. I'm going to show you how to create the whole app. So we're going to, from scratch, so we're going to hit that create new app. In name, uh, you need to give it a name. Um, just type in autopo.st dash and then the name of your Twitter account. You can put anything you like in here really. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So test two. In description, um, you can just copy and paste. Again, this is just so you can identify it uh, on your own uh, page. Website, uh, please type in here our website, which is www.autopo.st. Callback URL, please leave blank. Uh, yes, I've read the uh, Twitter developer agreement. If you want to read through it, please feel free uh, before you actually accept. And then just click on create your Twitter application. That'll take a couple of seconds to go through. Your application has been created. Um, and now what we need to do is we need the keys and access tokens, which is what is required uh, for our control panel. If uh, we go back momentarily to our control panel, you'll see that we need four pieces of information. Consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and token secret. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the keys and access tokens tab. And here we'll find the information that we need. So consumer key, we can just copy and paste. Consumer secret, again, we'll just copy and paste. And then if you scroll further down, we can see the access token page uh, part. And here we're going to click on the create my access token. And in a few minutes, few seconds, sorry, you'll see that we've got our access token information. So we're going to uh, copy and paste, and the same for the access token secret, copy and paste. And that is it. That's all we need to do to create the Twitter app. We're gonna click submit. Your Twitter app details have been saved. And then we're going to test it to make sure. Again, it says here, submit first. So you need to submit the details before you can test the details that you've entered. So we've already submitted it. We're going to click here. Twitter app okay, your Twitter app settings appear okay. So that's good. Uh, that's all that we needed to do there. And now we can actually go ahead and configure the service. So if you click on the now playing configuration, this is where we actually get to configure the service and how it posts to Twitter. So uh, Twitter app is auto post send pit. Uh, name, my name is Gavin. Oops. My name is Gavin Watson and my email address is info at autopo.st. Okay, so that's just some information uh, that will be used for, um, for admin purposes. So please put in valid details there. Okay, so now we actually configure the whole service. So uh, pre-song text. This is a text that appears before each tweet. So for example, now playing. Um, and that's the, the text that will appear before uh, each song. Uh, so it'll be now playing uh, a song title by artist. And then the post song text is what appears after each song. So we're gonna put on our test radio station. That's it. 
Um, now, what we do is we give the opportunity to configure up to three different pre and post song texts so you can alternate between them. You do not have to enter all three. You only have to enter one, uh, but it does give you a bit more variety and makes your tweets a little bit different. It allows you to um, uh, put different uh, hashtags in so that you, uh, you can tag different things, use different hashtags. So uh, you can put, for example, here, hashtag now playing. Um, and um, you, I'm just going to um, paste over that. Oops, didn't want to put that there. Uh, copy, paste, um, and maybe a different one here, now playing on test station and then put listen live here and you can put a link to your tune in uh, page or your website on uh, autopo.sd there we go so what we'll do now is we'll uh, pick the different um, pre-song text one uh, and post-song text one and that will alternate between the second one and the third one Again, if you do not want to use all three, you don't have to, you only have to use one of them. And this is the text that appears before each song and after each song. So for example, uh, if you used uh, this one, it would be now playing uh, song title by artist on our test radio station, hashtag radio. And then it, uh, the same for the second one and the same for the third one. Uh, so I'm going to leave all three of them uh, configured here. So moving down at tag artist, uh, this is if you want us to try and tag the artist that's currently playing. So uh, it'll go ahead and check uh, a database of Twitter accounts and it will try and tag, uh, replace the artist name with their uh, Twitter account and therefore tagging them each time one of their songs is played. So we're going to turn that on, yes. Accuracy, uh, there are two options, a high and medium. High means that we will only tag the artist if we're absolutely sure that it's the correct artist and it's matched a few different databases. Medium means that it's more likely that an artist uh, will be tagged, uh, but there could be some inaccuracies in that matching service. So uh, I recommend that you use high. Uh, the next option is, do you want to include an artist image? So with each song that's posted, do you want us to try and tag, uh, sorry, uh, include an image of the artist with each post? So we're going to select yes on there. Do you want to include cover art? Uh, yes, we want to try and include that. Uh, and that's the cover art for the specific song now. Um, so now uh, we come to the buy this song links. So our service allows you to um, add a buy this song link with each uh, song that's posted. And what that allows you to do is um, you can use your Amazon affiliate ID. And each time somebody clicks on that and buys the song, then you can make some money through your affiliate program with Amazon. Uh, so I'm going to select yes for that. Um, we also allow you to use the Apple uh, affiliate scheme. Um, so if you have an Apple affiliate scheme, you can enter your Apple ID here. Uh, we have a test one, um, which I can't actually remember. So I'm actually going to say no to that. I can't remember what it is. Um, so if you do select, if you do choose to use Amazon or Apple, uh, you can pick whether you're in the UK, the US or Germany. Those are the only three that we support at the moment. Um, use override file. We'll go into this a bit later on. We're going to select no. Uh, do I want to use a logo if no image has been found? I'm going to select yes, and I'll talk you through uh, what that means um, and where you can upload the logo. Basically, this means that if you select yes to the images here, but we can't find any in our database, it will actually post your radio station's logo for you so that there's always an image there. And you can upload up to five different logos and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Finally, uh, this is the master enable disable. Uh, so this actually turns the whole service on or off. 
So uh, you have to set that to enabled. If not, uh, the service will not post at all. So if you want to turn off the service momentarily, you can come here and select disabled and no posts will be made to your account. So that's all the features are set up. We now move on to the actual scheduling. And what we do here is we select uh, how often and when uh, you want our service to post to your Twitter feed. So the days is quite self-explanatory. Uh, which days do you want the service to post on? You can select any day of the week or every day of the week or just weekdays or just weekends. That's up to you, quite self-explanatory. Check them all to post every day. Uh, um, active between which hours? Now, if you wanted to, you can select the service to only post, for example, between uh, 9 a.m. And, uh, and 11 a.m. on uh, weekdays, if that's when you have live shows, or if you just want to post uh, permanently, then you leave all the options set here, all the days set, and just select zero to zero. That means, uh, 24 hours a day, every day. And then finally, uh, during the above, so on these days and between these hours, post at what interval? So I'm going to select here every 15 minutes. So that means that uh, because everything's checked zero to zero, uh, our service will post 24 seven, every day, every hour, every 15 minutes. And you can select whatever value you want here. We do not recommend setting uh, this value low um, because you could get into a bit of trouble with Twitter for posting too aggressively to your feed. What I am going to do is currently set it to a minute because I want to do some testing and show you the posts appearing on the page. So um, I'm going to leave that at a minute, but I'm going to be sure to, to come back and change it. And then finally, um, advanced settings, uh, you don't need to touch that. Uh, that's in case we need to come and do any custom work on your account. So now I've set all of this up, I'm going to click the submit button and that's going to uh, submit the changes that I've made. Uh, Twitter configuration uh, has been saved, changes will take effect in a few minutes. Uh, what that means is it's now going to synchronize those changes uh, that we've made, those settings that we've entered with our server and we'll see the posts appear on the account uh, in just a few uh, minutes time. So I'm going to load up twitter.com slash auto post sandpit, which is our uh, testing account. Um, and we'll see that starting to post uh, in just a few moments time. Uh, while we wait for that, I'm going to uh, take you through the logos. Uh, we mentioned um, on the uh, configuration page just a moment ago, uh, that um, if you wanted to, you could upload a logo. And here you can see there's an error message saying logo is enabled, but not uploaded, please upload a logo. So what it's telling us here is that we've selected yes, we want you to use a logo if no image is found, uh, but you haven't uploaded one. So we're going to go ahead go and go to up, upload a station logos, and we're going to upload a logo uh, to be posted if no image is found. So we're going to uh, browse to a folder here to find an image, uh, open, and then you just click on upload, wait a few moments, and there you can see that we've got a, um, a slightly um, bad logo here that we've uploaded. So this is going to post uh, if no images have been found. And you can go ahead and uh, upload as many images as you want here. And what we'll do is we will try and alternate which image appears if no artist or cover art is found for that particular song. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do now, and you can go ahead and do that for all five of them, and we'll just try and do it randomly and post a different uh, station logo or, or your uh, business logo if no image is found for that song. So we've now configured that service and we want to see uh, if it's posting, has anything posted yet. It takes a couple of minutes for that to happen. So we can go, for example, to the system log and we can see if any posts have been made yet um, for the service. So indeed, uh, we can see that. Um, and it's already posted. Uh, so uh, it's tried to post, uh, but it's not enabled in the control panel. 
So that could have been when we uh, had it disabled momentarily. Uh, so I would expect that to, um, to start posting again in a moment. Um, so the system log uh, helps us identify uh, errors and problems, and it's a good place to, uh, to go and take a look at what might be wrong if there are no posts being posted to, to your account. So I'm just going to pause the video for a couple of seconds and I'll be right back as soon as that configuration has filtered through and synced with our server. Um, and I will show you uh, what it looks like on the logs. Okay, welcome back. So that uh, setting has now saved, the server sort of synchronized with the settings uh, that we made. And we can see that uh, the uh, next post has been made. Um, and we can see uh, that the song was a Michael Jackson song. You get some information here for each post that's made. And what we're looking for at the bottom is success. This posted to Twitter, okay. It's fantastic. So you can see a lot of it is self-explanatory here and it gives you the opportunity to go and see if there are any errors. Uh, very useful for when you first set up your account and for troubleshooting. And if we go over to our Twitter account here uh, and refresh, we should also see that post uh, is on there. There we go. So that's just made it through. Uh, that's the Michael Jackson song. You can see that it's uh, changed the Michael Jackson uh, wording and it's tagged his uh, Twitter account and uh, on our test radio network. And a little hashtag there. Um, so that is that. So if we, um, what I'd expect to see here now is if I refresh that page, so every minute, which is how we left the setting, uh, you should see a post. There we go. Uh, so we can see that there's another one that's now posted, which is in fact this one. Um, uh, so that's every minute, uh, 644, 645. And if we refresh that in a moment, we'll see that there'll be another one, 646. Interestingly, uh, note that uh, there's an error on this one. Uh, error, the song reported from a streaming server is still the same halting system. So basically what that does is we've set it to check your streaming server every minute. Of course, we don't want it to keep on posting the same uh, song over and over again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly go back into the configuration and I'm going to change that because I don't want it to post every minute. I just wanted to check that the system was working correctly. I'm gonna set it to 15 minutes and save it. Um, so if we go back into the um, system log, then there may be one that was already uh, uh, taking place, uh, but the next entry now, um, once the configuration has taken place and synchronized, will be every 15 minutes. Uh, just summarizing your streaming server information, the Twitter app, which is needed to, for us to be able to post to your account on your behalf, and the now playing configuration where you set all the features uh, for the service. And that is it, that's, that's how you do it, that's how you set it up. Uh, if you need any uh, help or assistance, then there's a contact us uh, page here and you can uh, send us a message. If you have a technical issue, please do read this uh, and we ask you to log a support ticket um, uh, so that we can look into your issue much, much quicker. Uh, there is also uh, some uh, comprehensive uh, help pages here. So if you click on help on the left side menu and click on Twitter auto post, uh, everything uh, that I have I just told you is in here, creating a Twitter app, um, the streaming server information, um, and uh, how to set up and what each uh, feature does and how to set it up. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And of course, there are other tutorials, will be other tutorials uh, on um, Facebook and tune in. Quickly, before I forget, you can see now on the dashboard, if you remember uh, this service, uh, the, the quick glance, uh, latest posts, uh, Twitter previously said not configured and it now says post success and it gives us the latest post uh, and a confirmation here. Uh, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you need any help, then please uh, drop us an email via the contact us. Uh, our email address is info at autopo.st or please raise a support ticket 
and we'll answer it as soon as we possibly can. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you in another video tutorial. Bye for now.